What's up guys, it's Elon Friends. We're back with another video. We just saw the movie, Joker. And Red, Rice Boy, uh, I, Weave Ghost. And Lou is making his triumphant return. <laughs> and this movie is about society. the rise of the Joker and society. Joker was lit. And you want to give your first opinion because you give that professional thing. The birth of the Joker. That should be the movie. Is the birth, the birth of, the Joker. of the Batman. And all throughout the movie, we can see a battered, crushed, weak man turning <laughs> into what would essentially become the clown prince of crime, the Joker. Of that same coin. He created his future nemesis. Um, same side. Artistically, this movie is is beautiful. It's it. I find it difficult. I find it very nearly impossible to find the words to describe just how perfect this movie is. Ah, uh, I don't know what else to say, but just go see it. This is absolutely a must-watch. Even if you don't know anything about the Joker, you don't need to know nothing about the Joker to watch this movie. This I movie agree. Wow. Just go see it. Yeah. You done? You want to my opinion? All right, so I really enjoyed this movie. Joaquin Phoenix did an amazing uh, role as author. And the final act of this movie is probably one of my favorite final acts of any movie ever. Like, the tenseness of this movie. Like, you'll, you'll know where, where the, the scene starts. And, like, the tenseness of this movie, you just, like, you have anxiety during the whole. You don't know what's about to happen next. And you're just like, okay, okay. Your heart's beating. Like, while we was watching it, everyone was on the fr uh, front of their seats like, bruh. What's about it happening? Like no one knew. They was feeling uneasy. Like this society, movie can make you feel uneasy. bro. This movie just caught me by the heart and just pulled it because I was like, no, he's not gonna do that. He didn't do it, but he did something completely out the box. Like, bro, society. Like, bro, it's, it's he was damaged. This, so, this movie is crazy, man. Just imagine getting beat Don't over and kids. over again. Get you can finally stand on your two feet and then boom, you get knocked over the side of the head. And then you just keep getting bashed in and bashed in and bashed in. That was his mentality throughout this movie. I feel like the start of the movie was perfect where you see it in the trailers where he gets the sign stolen and gets the crap beat out of him by the bunch of kids. I feel like that's perfect because it just describes his whole life during, before and during the movie. Because the whole time he's just getting the crap knocked out of him by life. Everything that can go wrong it does will go, go wrong. wrong for Everything. Him. And eventually, he just snapped. Snapped. Gave, like this is a type of movie. Up. This is like a type of movie where we create our own villains. I just realized this movie is exactly like Taxi Driver. But yeah, this is a good movie. I wouldn't even uh, categorize it as a comic book movie. This is a movie of because it's not really that many it's a, Easter eggs. It's, it's a character it's, movie. It, yeah, it's a character movie. It's like a timepiece movie too, but the, the time that it's set in as well. Bro. Like this is a movie people will go in and not even know it was uh, based off a comic or anything like that because this movie's good. It's like it's an Oscar type movie. Like I swear, this is a movie you're gonna have conversations for a while. Like this is an uneasy movie. And some people probably be like, I don't know about this movie, but don't take the kids to this movie. Do this not is not, take this the is kids. not a kids movie at all. This movie's. You couldn't anyway. It's like rated R, ain't it? Yeah, but you know how some people. Do. This <laughs> ain't no Deadpool. This is a serious R movie, but I really highly recommend it. This. Walking Phoenix really did it, and I know a lot of people are going to try to do the comparison with Walking Phoenix and he later. You can't because of how different the stuff is. Two different like, jokers. Yeah, like two different jokers. You can't even compare them to how it is. They both like, just did they great. Both, they both did amazing with this role. So I highly recommend it. Two thumbs up. This is probably my fav uh, favorite comic uh, book movie of the year, if not. Yeah, it's up there. I think it's my favorite just origin story. I swear, right? If Heath Ledger gets a 10, this guy gets at least a 10. Yeah. It, I give it a 10. Uh, yeah, I give it a 10. Yeah, I'd give it a 10. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Peace out, guys. Like, comment, like and subscribe. It,